mobile phone client offers a number of features to complement your home phone service. This includes placing calls that appear to come from your residential line, answering calls that arrive at your residential line, configuring your residential line features, including simultaneous ring, sequential ring, and unified messaging. Installation is quick and easy. Simply launch the App Store application on your iPhone and search for Home Extend. Install the application on your device, just like you would install any other application from the App Store. When you first start the client, you will be presented with a licensing agreement where you can accept the terms. Once accepted, a login screen will appear. Enter your username, password, and your telephone number in the appropriate fields and press the login button. Your username and password choice were provided when you ordered your service. Once you press OK, the main phone dialer screen will be shown. The bar across the bottom of the application provides access to the main features of the application. The phone screen shows the dialing screen as above. The history screen shows the history of calls made on your residential service. This includes all incoming as well as missed calls. The settings screen is where you set all the configuration options for your service, such as a call forwarding number, voicemail options, and many other feature settings. Once you log in, a dialog box will pop up indicating your device is not configured for Home Extend anywhere. In order to use some of the capabilities of the application, press Configure Home Extend Anywhere. This will allow you to place calls with this application that will appear to come from your residential phone line rather than your mobile phone number. You can configure this option from the Settings screen. If you choose Cancel, that option will not be available. The Call screen is your main dialing screen. From here, you can enter a destination phone number and press the call button. The right arrow button can be used to back over entered digits if you make a mistake entering a number. On pressing the call button, you'll be provided with options as below. If the iPhone option is selected, the application will use the built-in mobile phone to place outbound calls. This means the called user will see your mobile number as the caller ID instead of your residential caller ID. The call through setting will allow you to place calls as your residential number. When using this option, your mobile phone may display that you are calling a number you may not recognize. The number dialed is a number on our network. These numbers may change each time you place a call. When we receive a call from your mobile phone on one of those numbers, we place a call to the enter destination number using the caller ID from your residential line and connect you to the call. The call back setting will also allow you to place calls as your residential number. When using this option, the service will call your residential number first. Both your home phone and your mobile phone will be called. A pop-up message on the phone's screen will indicate waiting for callback. When you do, the call will be placed to the destination number you entered using the caller ID of your residential line and connect you to the call. The Call Pull key provides an option to pull an existing call from your residential phone to the mobile client. This feature allows you to transfer a call on your home phone to your mobile phone so you can continue your conversation if you need to leave your home or transfer the call back to your home phone when you arrive back at home. The history screen will show all calls to and from your residential line as well as any missed calls. The calls can be filtered as shown below. Calls placed from the Home Extend client will only show in this list if you use either the Use Call Through Service or Use Call Back Service dialing option. Calls using the iPhone service do not use your mobile phone number and therefore don't show in this list. Calls can be placed from this list by pressing the entry you want. The trash icon in the upper right hand corner can be used to delete your call history. The directory screen allows you to search your phone contacts and call them quickly. You can dial contacts from your iPhone contact list by pressing the mobile icon on top. 
Your service provides many features that are configurable and can be set through the call settings screen. The initial part of the screen shows your username and mobile phone number. Under the call options section, the caller ID blocking option allows you to place calls anonymously. Calling option allows you to set your preferred default calling option. Use iPhone dialer, use call through service, use callback service, or always ask. Once chosen here, this will be the default option when you place a call. The greetings only option allows you to disable message deposit if you want to prevent anyone from leaving a message. If you enable this option, you can decide whether the call should end after the greeting is played or to forward the call to another destination number. Record an appropriate greeting in this case, instructing callers that you are not accepting messages or that your call is being forwarded. In the When a Message Arrives section within the voice messaging feature, you can select Unified Messaging, which can be used to send all voicemail recordings to your email and is enabled by default. You can also forward a message to your email. To use this feature, check the Email a Carbon Copy of the Message To option in the Advanced Options section and enter your email address in the Entry field. Enable the Transfer on Zero to Phone Number option and specify a destination number if you want to provide callers the ability to press zero to interrupt the greeting message and reach you at the specified number. The Call Forwarding section allows you to change when and how calls are forwarded. Touch Call Forward Not Reachable to configure and enable or disable this feature. The last number entered here as a forwarding number will be remembered or a new number can be entered. Touch On or Off to enable or disable this feature. Touch Call Forward Busy to configure and enable or disable this feature. The last number entered here as a forwarding number will be remembered or a new number can be entered. Touch Call Forward Always to configure and enable or disable this feature. The last number entered here as a forwarding number will be remembered or a new number can be entered. Touch Call Forward No Answer to configure and enable or disable this feature. The last number entered here as a forwarding number will be remembered or a new number can be entered. Choose the number of rings to allow before calls are forwarded to the destination number. If this feature is off, unanswered calls will be forwarded to voicemail. Touch Do Not Disturb to turn this feature on or off. This will cause all incoming calls to your home phone service to go to your voicemail box. You can still place outbound calls. Touch Simultaneous Ring to configure and enable or disable this feature. This feature can be used to ring multiple destination numbers at the same time when someone calls your home phone number. You can also choose if you want the destinations to ring if you're on an active call on your landline. The number will ring both your home phone number and your mobile client. To add a new destination, tap the Add Location option. Enter a destination number. Enabling the Answer Confirmation Required box on this entry will require anyone answering that number to press a DTMF on their phone to accept the call. Touch Sequential Ring to configure and enable or disable this feature. This feature can be used to ring multiple destination numbers sequentially when someone calls your home phone number. The caller hears a voice prompt instructing them to please wait while you are being located. The system then calls the numbers in the order listed one at a time until someone picks up the call at one of the numbers. To add a new destination, press the Add Location option. The Sequential Ring feature has a number of configurable options. The Use Base Location First option tells the service to call the home phone number first. The number of rings is how many rings to allow before placing a call to the next destination in the list. The Continue If Busy option will cause the service to send the call to the first number in the list instead of the base location first if the home phone line is busy and less call waiting is enabled. The Caller May Cancel option allows the caller to cancel the search and instead be transferred to your voice mailbox or any call forward, no answer destination if configured. The Home Extend Anywhere feature is automatically added and enabled when you accepted the Auto Configure option the first time you ran the client. 
Disabling this feature prevents features like use call through service from working among others.